Greetings everyone. I am Dr. Jashwini Jyotishna Narayan and I am presenting a research on behalf of my co-authors Dr. Samantha Naidu and Ms. Tuma Gregg. The title of my presentation is Do Age and Gender Matter in SMS Marketing in Fiji? Our study focuses on the SMS advertisements. It is an empirical study that is grounded on uses and gratification theory. And we discuss the perceived advertising values and attitudes, power in short, of consumers of different age groups and gender towards SMS advertisements. SMS is an important tool for advertisements and for sharing services with our customers. While there has been much research in both developed and developing countries, there is not much in terms of empirical investi investigations on the importance of SMS advertising and its effectiveness. Our study contributes to the existing literature on SMS advertisements and we provide empirical evidence of an understudied small developing country of Fiji. Ours is the first few study to examine gender and age differences together in a small South Pacific developing country. We have also added four new added measured variables within the UNG constructs, three of which proved useful. The uses and gratification theory was developed in the late 1940s and helps to understand consumer motivational elements towards the use of different media sources. It helps to explain the reasons behind using different mediums and investigates how a person will use media to satisfy his needs and helps researchers to understand the motivating factors. In SMS marketing, both information and entertainment are critical dimensions. The three dimensions for UNG theory are informativeness, entertainment and irritation. We have combined both information and entertainment dimensions into one quadrant, calling it infotainment. Our hypotheses are experienced infotainment gratification will positively relate to perceived advertisement value for both male and female consumers and experienced infotainment gratification will also positively relate to consumers of different age group. Credibility dimension is about the extent to which consumers perceive that the brand and product advertised are truthful and believable. Our two hypotheses here are credibility is positively related to the perceived advertisement value and attitude of males and females and also of consumers of different age groups. Irritation is about the advertisements that may bring about discomfort and intrusiveness into privacy concerns leading to consumers avoiding those advertisements. The two related hypotheses are irritability is negatively related to perceived advertisement value and attitude of both consumers, male and female, and it is also negatively related to consumers of different age groups. The target participant for our study were mobile phone users and we used a convenient sampling method of online survey. Respondents included students, friends and academic con colleagues. Survey was conducted in May 2020 and collected 261 responses. Our hypothesis 1 and 2 were supported by the results. Hypothesis 2 had been partly supported, partially supported, hypothesis 3A supported, while hypothesis 3B was partially supported. As per our empirical results, infotainment is positively related to both male and female consumers. The impact was higher for females. This suggests that females may seek more helpful, timely and relevant information, those that are also interesting at the same time. Empirical study also confirmed infotainment being positively related to all age groups, attitudes towards SMS advertisements, strongest for the oldest age group, while for 20, less than 20 year olds, credibility and irritation were not significant. 
and this may be because this particular group readily believes in SMS is more excited and less irritated. Also evident from the research is the result that 21 to 30 year olds are most affected by the three dimensions, all three dimensions. They are considered the E generation are more tech savvy and more reliant on mobile phones than the other age groups. However, for the older age group of 31 and 40 year olds, only infotainment and irritation were related to their perceived advertisement value and attitude. And this may be because being older and generally busier, they are less tolerant and more concerned about relevant information. For the oldest age group, infotainment and credibility were related to perceived advertisement value and attitude, while credibility reported negative relation. And this may be because they are more cautious and do not readily believe in SMS advertisements. Overall, the results do indicate that consumers of different age groups have different perceived advertising values, advertisement values and attitudes. Marketers thus need to consider both age and gender when creating SMS advertisements. And they should tailor make accordingly. We conclude that a better understanding of consumers' perceived value and attitude is, is important for every marketer. Our findings also indicate that consumers differ in their perception and the degree to which they are affected given their age and gender. The results suggest that age and gender of consumers do matter when it comes to their perceived advertising value and attitude. Thus, we need to tailor make advertisements, particularly if the target markets are segmented by age and gender. This concludes our presentation and in the final slide we have presented the references. Thank you everyone.